Okay, we are making chicken noodle soup. How many pieces of chicken did we defrost? Four. We've got four pieces of chicken and you're cutting them into about what size of? Half inch. About half inch. Alrighty. And you've defrosted them. Are they all the way defrosted or just mostly defrosted? Mostly, or all the way on these. Okay. Some don't matter either way. And you trim off anything that looks gross, anything that you're not gonna want in your your chicken noodle soup. Alrighty. All right, let's go ahead and get the chicken cooking. And what are you putting in the pot? Olive oil, enough to cover the bottom good. All righty. And we've got it on a high temperature to get it to um, it simmer in the chicken. All righty. We're just going to put it all in. Well, oh. we don't do it yet until the pan gets a little bit hot. Okay. Okay, we just let this cook and while we're doing this, we'll go, we'll turn it down a little bit and go and cut up the rest of the vegetables. You're gonna put a little bit in while it's cooking, just to add a little bit of flavor while it's cooking up. It's um, the bouillon, show the type it is. All right, that's it. Cut it like this. And then like this. And about how much onion are we going to do for? One, one medium onion. Okay. Make the celery about the same size as the onion. I generally split them down the middle like that. And about how many stalks did you start with? Um, four or five. You want to make a pile, about three even piles. All right. So it doesn't really matter how much as long as they're about equal to each other. Yeah, well, about the size of a medium onion then make all the piles to that. Okay. We generally use the little carrots, but any kind of a carrot will do that you want to chop up. And you want it to also be about the same size. Yeah, onions, celery, and carrots. Okay, while we've been cutting, the chicken has been cooking. We've been stirring it pretty consistently. Um, it's all turned, so it looks like it's cooked. We'll continue to cook when we um, add the rest of the ingredients. But so you can just leave it like this and add stuff to it but I like to take it out and strain it and um, just let the liquids out. So that's it. All right, we have added the celery, onion, olive oil, um, carrots into the pan. We're gonna saute them for a while to um, soften them up and we're going to add just a little bit of this kind of bouillon in with those to also That's add flavor. Yeah. All right. 
We're also going to add a little bit of garlic. So you just take the tops and the bottoms off each clove and peel it and then just chop it down fine. You're not going to want a big um, thing of uh, garlic when you bite into it, but it does add a nice flavor. Add the garlic. Let it cook in. Get the flavor. <laughs> All right. Add the meat. When the onions are opaque, kind of stir it around so they can see what we're talking about. Now we're just adding water. We're adding our purified water. Four cups. Four cups. Just to let it be able to come to a boil. Now you bring it up to a boil. Okay. And what are you this adding? This is some white pepper. You go with white pepper instead of black pepper? Yeah. Is it just for the aesthetics? The yeah. You add about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Okay. We put in a little bit of Mrs. Dash just for kicks. One beef bouillon. This is the better than beef bouillon. It's a little bit stronger. That's one tablespoon eventually. <laughs> one tablespoon of better than bouillon chicken flavor. chicken bouillon flavor. Two more of those. Two of those. All right. And we let this come up to a boil? Yes. Now we let it boil for quite a while until our carrots start to make so we can cut them with a fork. <laughs> okay. Okay. We get out a carrot. <laughs> All righty. Then we just simply see how easy and it's soft. See that? It went right through it. Okay. So it's ready to cool. be filled with water. So we had added a little bit more water um, while we were waiting for this to boil. And it's been at this rolling boil for about 20, 25 minutes. So, so we've added four more cups. Four so far. Alrighty. So. Okay, are we aiming? For, are we aiming for the little rivet things or right, above that? Above that, About an inch and a half from the top. Okay. Still don't know how many cords is there. Okay. And this pan itself okay. is. That's eight cups. Oh, exactly. Eight, nine, ten. It's about 12 cups, that's uh, so far. Oh. <laughs> and that 12 cups would be 12 pints, or 12 half pints, that's what I'm not. 
uh, pint is two cups, so yeah, that would be uh, We've done eight. So six pints? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. About six or eight pint, uh, about an eight pint uh, container. All right, and then um, noodles. Are we adding the noodles now, or do we wait We're for it? We're going to bring it to a boil and then add the noodles. Okay. Open up the noodles. Okay, so we've taken it to this rolling boil again, and uh, we have turned it back down just to the medium. Oh, we fogged up. Okay, and about how much of this are we going to... These are egg pasta noodles, and they're the homemade style. Homemade style, all righty. And how much of it are we going to be putting in? Um, all about half. a little over half of this sack. Okay. And then how long do we... Seven minutes. About seven minutes for this. I gotta add just a hair of water. Hair more water. Okay. The noodles, of course, will expand even more as it, the soup cools and, and gets ready to eat. 